Hey everyone, what's up? I hope you all are doing well and good. So, Hacktoberfest is just around the corner and the excitement to contribute to open source is building up upon everyone. So, in today's video, we are diving into everything you need to know about Hacktoberfest, which is the annual celebration of open source software. So, whether you are a beginner or you are a pro, this event is for you. So, we will be talking about what Hacktoberfest is and how you can sign up to Hacktoberfest and how you can contribute, how you can participate. So, let's get started without any further delay. The question rises in everyone's mind is what is open source contribution first of all and what is Hacktoberfest. So, open source contribution, ki baat kar lete, toh, see there are a lot of public uh, projects available in various open source uh, platforms like GitHub and uh, you can go there, you can see what project is about and you can contribute to that project. Contribute in the sense if there is any bug in that project. It would be better if you make changes in the documentation of that project or if you find something that you can contribute to that project. So, that whole thing will be considered as open source contribution. So, now let's talk about what Hacktoberfest is. So, Hacktoberfest is a month-long celebration and it's, for, it's organized by Digital Ocean. And the goal of this uh, whole uh, month long celebration is that you can contribute to open source. They are encouraging developers to contribute and come together from around the world to contribute to open source projects. So it's all about collaboration, it's all about learning and it's all about improving the software as a community. To join Hacktoberfest, you just have to head over to hacktoberfest.com website and you have to sign up using your GitHub account or GitLab account and you can start contributing. Now the timeline of the contribution to be considered as a Hacktoberfest contribution will be 1st of October to 31st of October. And all you need to do is you have to submit four valid pull requests to any public repository. So whether you are fixing bugs or you are adding any features or you are improving the documentation, anything will be counted as a contribution. So I'll suggest that do a valid contribution, not like anything that you are making changes in readme. I suggest to, it is the right opportunity to make contributions. So make sure you uh, raise valid PRs. And to find out the project you are looking for Hacktoberfest, you just have to search Hacktoberfest or good first issues in the label on GitHub. And remember to focus on quality, not the quantity. So here's a demonstration. Once you land to the website, you can register. You can use either your GitHub account or GitLab account. Once you will initiate the registration, you can authorize your GitHub account and it will show you this page. So once it's authorized, you will land to this page. Now here it will ask you for a few details of yours like your name, email, your experience and why would you like to communicate and there are a lot of things you can fill in and put on register. Once you will click register, now you are good with your profile. Now you can check your progress, how many PRs you have raised, how many PRs has been merged and you will be able to see basically everything. And from here you can identify if you got selected or not. Now you can join the Hacktoberfest Discord channel and here you will be finding a lot of things. So many people have created the repository in which you can contribute and your contribution will be counted as an Hacktoberfest contribution. And if you are new to open source or you have doubts, you can post your doubts here. I have personally created a repository where people can contribute in the past and this year I am again doing it and I approved uh, legit PRs so they could get the swags and everything. So yep, I am doing it again and uh, you can check out the repository for Hacktoberfest 2024 in my GitHub profile. So as I have mentioned in 2021st, I have created this repository for the contribution for Hacktoberfest and here there are a lot of projects, a lot of people has contributed. I have added the instruction how you can contribute and how you can fork the repository, you can start it. And I've added a few commands that will help you to set up the environment or set up the project in your computer. So once you follow these instructions and set up your project, you are like good to go for the contribution. And here are some set of rules which you need to follow to get accepted as a Hacktoberfest contribution. So here I have given the category on what projects you can submit. So here I have asked for a beginner friendly animation or a creative landing page or a DSA called code, anything you can submit in out of these three. And I will review it and I can approve the PR so that it will count it as your contribution. Now you can go up and you can start the repository, you can fork it and you can download the code also. But it's better to use command line, it will make work easier. 
so at that time many people have raised the pr and this is how it was looking few pr i missed but yeah if you see you can go and create a new pr from here once you will create pr you can simply go and select your branch and once you select your branch you will get an option to create pull request so once you will create a pull request you will land to this page where you can see there are a lot of uh, pull requests already been raised and you all will add append to the queue and i can open the pull request i will go through what changes you have made so i can simply go and merge but it will be better if if there is something need to be changed or i will review it and i can add my comments accordingly and i can merge it according to me i can go to your commit and i can check what commits you have made i can go to the code files what exactly the files you have added and what changes you have made or what changes you have actually contributed which is giving value to this repository and yeah simply i can go and approve it and merge your pr and that will be counted as your contribution now make sure your repository contains these tags these labels are very important to be considered under approval fest so make sure you have these in your repository so i will mention the link in the description and yeah start contributing and welcome to open source world so don't forget to share this video with your college group because there are a lot of students that those are not aware of this contribution if you like this video don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you are participating in this hacktoberfest or not